Well, Jamaica. Yeah. Uh, let's start <laughs> off with your first show as Jamaica. Uh, where was it and what was it like? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that was uh, at Melveg uh, in Amsterdam. Yeah. For the Boys Noise release party, we got offered the slot to open for him, which was pretty uh, suicidal. But we took it. And that was uh, that was a that's a great memory. A lot yeah. of friends came, our girlfriends came as well. That was a, we had a good night. Yeah, yeah, we've improved since it then. It was though. suicidal, you said. Yeah, yeah. Like people are expecting uh, DJs to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we arrived with our guitars. That was a bit uh, strange. Mm -hmm. And uh, your your girlfriends traveled from Paris to see you play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and you stayed in Amsterdam as well. Or? Uh, we stayed in the hotel that was. There used to be a prison. I remember. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's normal if you don't know uh, hotels in Amsterdam. Yeah. I don't know any hotels in mm. Paris. Yeah. I have a home there. I know hotels because of this work. We yeah. go to hotels oh, yeah. a lot. Of course. Okay. Um, uh, well, on August twenty uh, third, your mm -hmm. your record No Problem will be released. Yes. Uh, what will happen after that in your ideal scenari scenario? Um, <laughs> it sells so much that we don't have to tour at all. <laughs> we can stay home okay. and enjoy the, the money. And what do you think will happen, actually? <laughs> we are going to tour for one year at least. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty exciting and we are really happy with it. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yeah. Well, you, you, Jamaica and Pony Pony as well, are often linked with a lot of other Paris acts. Yeah. Um, and people think you are some sort of scene, which I believe isn't the case, is it? It depends on what you uh, expect when you say scene. Uh, people know people know each other, of course, uh, but like uh, Pari like anywhere, uh, Paris is b it's a small city actually, so every musician know know each other more or less. Yeah, that's the same. I think that's the same in, uh, in New York or London or Amsterdam, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's even worse in smaller cities, but uh, so as long as making music together or whatever. I have no idea. We just make music with our friends, and uh, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. We share the bills with uh, we share the bill with our friends at times, and uh, and that's it. But uh, for instance, uh, uh, I think that's that's the same for everywhere. Uh, that's the same everywhere for uh, for uh, any uh, any big city. But that's cool that people refer to it as a scene. I hope uh, it stays in uh, history books as a. <laughs> Oh, remember, I used to <laughs> hang out with Mr. Flash. <laughs> what do you get out of that, that people see it as a scene? Uh, what, what advantage does that have? Uh, there are more pros and cons, uh, pros than cons to be associated with uh, the, the acts, for, for instance, to be associated with Justice because Xavier worked uh, on our record, or Peter Jeffrenko uh, worked with Daft Punk, so that's pretty cool to be associated with uh, big names like that. And uh, eventually, in six months, if people tell us, "So you are DJs, uh, you <laughs> make electro music," because they, they haven't listened to the record, that might be a bit annoying. But so far, it's it's pretty cool, I guess. That's uh, that must be also one of the reasons why people uh, talk about the band as well, and uh, and that's. Uh, that uh, allows them to listen to the record and uh, eventually like what we are making, mm -hmm. what we are doing. So yeah. that's uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, association, I guess. When people say that we sound like Daft Punk, we are a bit surprised because we're not making house music. But uh, I think Peter talked uh, to the Daft Punk guys, and they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they go, yeah, whatever. Let people uh, speak. That's okay. <laughs> And with the music you're making, do, do you consider yourself to be part of, of a tradition, French or, or otherwise? French not at all, to be honest. Mm, yeah, we, we don't know because people told us, yeah, yeah, you, you sound like very French music, but I don't know what it means. Uh, maybe it's... Uh, the accent? The accent, yeah. <laughs> and maybe well, the... It's not really there when you sing, yeah. the accent, I believe. The, uh, I think the product, we have typical French production, like uh, Phoenix, Daft Punk, and we sound like a little bit uh, FM. You yeah, know? but that's, uh, that's I, don't, I don't know any other rock band sounding like us uh, in France. So that's uh, that's uh, I mean, uh, when you listen carefully to uh, the to Phoenix's records or or ours, we don't sound alike at all. 
uh, besides the fact that I think the, the singer smokes a lot and I do smoke a lot and it doesn't show. <laughs> and I think that's the, the main stuff and uh, there are other links of course but uh, I mean this, this is a fourth record they're making like really personal music uh, and uh, really uh, intricate uh, arrangements and everything. And we are more, uh, uh, I think we are a little more in your face than, uh, than that. We are only three on stage, so we have to, uh, we have to cope with uh, this really uh, small, uh, uh, small live band that we have. Uh, so uh, I think that's, uh, that's, pretty, uh, that's pretty different. So according to you, the only connection is the perhaps how you pronounce words in English between those <laughs> French. The fact that we don't make many, uh, we don't make much efforts uh, when we speak. <laughs> yeah. When we sing, we are trying to make efforts, but we don't try to pretend that we are from uh, <laughs> a, a different country or <laughs> whatever. You can try an Irish accent, perhaps. I don't. I don't know much. I've been told that when I try to speak English, I sound like uh, an Irish person. Okay. <laughs> That's better than Spanish, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>